In our last segment, we were doing some things that uh, allowed us to look at the traffic counts along highways. Let's step back and look at uh, uh, some spatial patterns of ski areas in Colorado. I'm Where I left off in my last segment, I was in eastern Colorado looking at traffic counts. I'm going to go ahead and turn off highways uh, for the moment and go back to the whole state by clicking on the globe. Okay, now I see cities, continental divide. Eh, it's kind of busy, so let's go ahead and turn off uh, cities for the moment. Eh, maybe I'll go ahead and turn on the counties. And uh, okay, so now I see counties, continental divide, and uh, some ski areas. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the shaded relief and turn off counties for the moment because what I really want to do in this segment is look at what ski areas um, are uh, in, in certain mountain ranges. And as I can see here, there's this cluster of ski areas in central Colorado in certain mountain ranges. Um, and we could do some uh, investigation um, to find out what mountain ranges those were. Uh, but, but the main point here is let's take a look at some mountain ranges that don't have any ski areas at all. For example, this one right here. Uh, why aren't there any ski areas up there? Uh, ask the students to speculate why. Is it because of uh, there's no land that could be leased for ski areas? So is it a land uh, status, land, uh, land use issue? Uh, do they not get enough snow in those areas? Uh, what, what is the situation? What is the elevation actually of these mountain ranges? So I'm, I'm panning down here. It makes sense that there are no ski areas in the San Luis Valley, right? Because it's, it's flat as a board. Uh, good, maybe some good cross-country skiing, but eh, maybe not. It's a fairly dry area, so they don't get a whole lot of snow there. Um, maybe some parasailing <laughs> would be better. Anyway, we've, we've got some ski areas here in, in the San Luis uh, Valley, just west, just west of the San Luis Valley, um, in the southwestern uh, part of the state, uh, in the San Juan Mountains. Uh, but there is a mountain range over here, for example, the Sangre de Cristo Mountains in the south central part of the state that borders the San Luis Valley. So it's a very high mountain range. It's a very narrow mountain range. And notice that there are no ski areas there. The closest one is over here at Monarch. But there are no ski areas in this mountain range. Uh, ask the students to speculate why. Again, is it a landowner issue? Is it proximity to roads? Have them turn on the highways. Uh, let's go ahead and turn on our highways. Is it just not accessible? What is the vehicle counts on those highways uh, in that area? What are the cities in that in that area? Yeah, you can see the vehicle counts are fairly low. Uh, the city is in that area. Let's go ahead and label the cities. Right click and label the cities um, in that area. Let's go ahead and make sure I just didn't turn them off, which I think I just did. Yes, I did. Just turned it back off. Uh, now I'll turn it back on. Uh, but take a look at those at those cities. Cities like West Cliff. Uh, for example, Crestone, they would be markedly different kinds of cities. Uh, their, their whole character would be altered if there were major ski areas in that area, right? And, and discuss the, with the students that this isn't uh, one of those things that is a, has a right answer, right? There are people that, that believe that ski areas are good things, and there are people that believe ski areas are bad things. Uh, and certainly there are good things and bad things about ski areas. So. The point is that these cities would be markedly different in character, in the kinds of housing they would offer, in their age structure, the population, and in the number of schools that they have, uh, in the number of services that they have, uh, and indeed the population themselves would be different if there were major ski resorts uh, in that area. So there are none in the San Luis Valley, and speculate as to why. Uh, and look at some other mountainous areas in the state and ask the students to uh, come up with uh, a hypothesis and some reasons as to why there are no ski areas. And then of those reasons, how many of them are spatial in nature? How many of them are geographic in nature? And that's what's great about this tool called GIS is that you can investigate some of these and use it as a springboard for these inquiry-based deeper discussions.